What is up, what is down? Andre here from Dre on the Bike Show, directly reaching everyone on the bike. Part of the I See You Network, the social helpful activity we're exploring today is the awesomeness that is bicycling, and specifically, a tool that helps you feel more comfortable when riding in cold weather. This video was inspired by the cyclists I met at Velo Velo Cycling and DC Cycling Collective who asked me about the accessory that we're exploring today. First, I am a Trini. And in Trinidad and Tobago, you can beach all year round. So I love the heat as much as I hate the cold. When I complained about the cold weather riding, other cyclists just told me, hey, just use a stationary bike, which is not a bicycle, or a trainer with a real bicycle. Those are safe and comfortable options, but I need to feel the rain, sun, and wind in my face as I pass the road by at 20 and 25 miles per hour, grinding into hills, rolling through trails while I'm leaning into curves. To do all of that, I had to keep my hands warm, which was the biggest challenge. All of the gloves I tried didn't keep my hands warm for longer than 30 minutes. Eventually, I found the solution in a literal sack of hotness. They're called bar mitts. Not as sexy as sack of hotness, but they work quite well at keeping your hands warm. They are made of neoprene, the same material used for wetsuits and orthopedic support devices. You can attach them to a curved or straight handlebar quite easily. The regular bar mitt, which is about 2 to 3 millimeters thick, kept my hands warm in 52 to 42 degree weather, and the Extreme, which has a removable cover, polished lining, and a handy zipper, kept my hands warm between 42 and 32 degrees. Both of the bar mitts can be rolled down to keep your hands cool and still use the brake safely. For more warmth, you can simply add a chemical or electric hand warmer. And when it gets really cold, you can combine the Extreme, the regular, and an electric hand warmer to create super combo sacks of hotness. All of this warmth allows you to wear a thin glove while riding in the winter. But there are challenges that come with using the bar mitts. I'm relatively strong at 6'3", 240 pounds, but with the bar mitts on, I definitely felt a greater push from crosswinds when using the bar mitts. I usually don't ride in the drops, but if you do do the drops, you can't access them while using a bar mitt, so it would be a good idea to wear an insulator glove along with your ride. Speaking of which, if you haven't had to repair a flat while out on a ride, you will. It's inevitable and annoying, but cold makes it extra challenging. For that challenge also, insulated gloves come in handy just in case you end up on the side of the road dealing with a flat or some other repair. The chemical hand warmers didn't always produce enough long-lasting warmth, which makes it necessary to sometimes use a lot of them at once. The e-hand warmers produced long-lasting heat, but like the ones I use, they can be big and bulky, so make sure they fit your bar mitt comfortably. Even with those challenges, the bar mitts provide flexible, adaptable comfort that gloves cannot. This makes it easier to experience more safety, comfort, and fun when bicycling in the cold for recreation or transportation. I hope this has been helpful. Be on the lookout for more helpful videos from the Drown the Bike Show and the ICU Network. At the ICU Network, our goal is to strengthen the inclusion, presence, and participation of people of color and people of color communities in the awesomeness of social healthful activities. If you know of people, activities, or communities that are worth exploring, let us know. We're always looking for ways to strengthen our social health so we can all live thriving lives. I'm Andre Lee from ISY, Andre on the Bike Show. Please take care of yourselves. Take care of your loved ones. I'll try and do the same. I am out.